Deep Ones are intelligent beings, possibly from a highly developed alien civilization. Probably creators of people and human civilization, space travelers. The Deep Ones were mentors of the people who lived on the shores of the Eritrean Sea, so the religions of water deities arose there. The cult of Dagon among the Semitic peoples, Adargadis in Syria, Anki and Oanas among the Sumerians, Nomo among the African Dogons. In ancient Greece there were a lot of water deities and Deep Ones intelligent beings such as Poseidon, Triton, Nerus, Proteus, Oceanids, Sirens and many, many others. The Deep Ones are important characters in Lovecraft's mythology. In his work, Lovecraft skillfully combined myths about intelligent Deep Ones creatures and, perhaps, his memories from a past life about creatures that emerged from the depths of the ocean. Today we will talk about the Deep Ones from ancient Sumer. Ancient Deep Ones and Sumerian Gods Sumer is the earliest known civilization in the historical region of southern Mesopotamia, now southern Iraq, emerging during the Chalcolithic and early Bronze Ages between 6 and 5 millennium before Christ. Anki is the Sumerian god of water, knowledge, crafts, and creation, and one of the Anunnaki. He was later known as Ea in Akkadian, a Syrian Babylonian religion. He was originally the patron god of the city of Eridu, but later the influence of his cult spread throughout Mesopotamia and to the Canaanites, Hittites and Hurrians. Eridu. In Sumerian mythology, Eridu was originally the home of Enki, who was considered to have founded the city. His temple was called Abza, as Enki was believed to live in Abza, an aquifer from which all life was believed to stem. Abza the mythical world ocean of underground fresh waters surrounding the earth. According to myths, Abza mixed with Tiamat, created the gods of the older generation. Enki puts him to sleep and kills him, and then builds a dwelling over him, where he conceives Marduk. At the behest of Enki, his wife Ninma creates the first man from Adam's clay, the Sumerian equivalent of the biblical Adam. In Eridu was the world pillar, as well as the world tree, in Eridu there was a black Kishkin tree washed by the ocean, and one of the famous names of the city Nun, Ki, the city of the tree, was exactly the place from where life was supposed to begin to develop. There were its origins, there a person sought to return in the hope of achieving true knowledge or peace. In the mythical Abza, the divine, Mi, were kept and the sages Abgalu, Anki's assistants, worked. Mi it is mysterious and powerful divine power in the moral code. Mi were transmitted to people by the gods through their intermediaries Abgaya the seven sages. In the myth of Anki and Ninma, Anki instructs his wife, the mother goddess Ninma, to mold the first man out of clay, taken from the very core of the Abza. Ziggurat is a multi-stage religious building in ancient Mesopotamia. The Sumerians believed that the gods lived in the temple at the top of the ziggurats, so only priests and other highly respected individuals could enter. Society offered them many things such as music, harvest, and creating devotional statues to leave in the temple. Sacrifices were offered to the gods usually with food, blood of sacrificial animals, etc. The sacrifice was performed in front of the image of the deity. A statue, idols, located inside the temple on a special pedestal, a throne. Mesopotamian temples had a typical three-part plan and walls with buttresses. The offering to the gods was accompanied by ritual songs and dances. The Sumerians believed that the gods created people from clay to serve themselves, endowing people with intelligence, but hiding immortality from them. Oanas and Abgalu, Apkalu in Sumerian Akkadian mythology, seven wise men assistants of the god of wisdom Enki, the founders of the first seven Sumerian cities. According to legend, these sages were created by Enki, and came to people from the Abza world ocean, which is reflected in their name, Ab, water, Gal, big, Lu, man. To the first Sumerian kings, who ruled before the Great Flood, the Abgalu sages served as advisors and ministers, and were also priests of the god Enki. This legend echoes the myth of Oanas, a half-man, half-fish, who came out to wild people from the ocean and taught them crafts and sciences. Adapa the first man, a possible prototype of the biblical Adam. 
Adapa is often considered one of the seven sages, and other legendary rulers of the first Sumerian cities, Gilgamesh and Atana, are sometimes counted among them. Dagon, a West Semitic deity, the national god of the Philistines after they settled Canaan. Dagon was a god worshipped in ancient Syria across the middle of the Euphrates, with primary temples located Tuttal and Terka, though many attestations of his cult come from cities such as Mari and Imar as well. In settlements situated in the upper Euphrates area he was regarded as the father of gods, similar to Mesopotamian Enlil or Hurrian Kumarbi, as well as a lord of the land, a god of prosperity, and a source of royal legitimacy. Dagon is a creature described by Lovecraft in the story, Dagon. Huge, resembling a Polyphemus and causing a feeling of disgust with his whole appearance, he rushed, like a monster appearing in nightmares, to the monolith, wrapped his giant scaly arms around it and bent his hideous head to the pedestal, while making some indescribable rhythmic sounds. Today we have only some evidence that intelligent amphibians are not a myth of the ancients. For example, statuettes of reptiles of the Ubaid period. The Ubaid period lasted from about 6500th year to 3800th year before Christ. On the picture you can see Ubiad clay figurines from Ur with a reptilian appearance. 